So since we have created our code for this SAML SSO login, and now let's continue for our Azure portal and uh, test our application for both successful case and for user not authenticated case. And the third case, which is if user is present in our end, but it is not authorized or uh, given access via Azure app. So let's continue for this. Let's move to Azure Active Directory and uh, then enterprise applications. And here, let's select our application that is test SAML. And in here, we have to check for setup single sign. And let's test for there are, as you can see, I have this T show 206 email ID. So I'm selecting sign in as current user. Let's click on test sign in and uh, it should take some time. And okay, so here you can see the success message. So, and here you can see that Azure ready successfully issued a token. So we have successfully logged into our app. Now let's download this response file. And uh, as we have checked earlier that we have to check for email ID attribute. So let's see where that attribute is. Let's first indent it. And uh, we can see this is the area which we have to use and uh, of which I have my name and uh, we have the email address and in here we can see that I have t 206 email that is this one so and you also can see that I have this name attribute wherein I have some like long format of domain so now let's try for sign in as someone else and for this we have to use our other user that is test user 2. So now let's log in using that user. Let's close it and now let's copy this username and uh, let's paste it and let's copy the password and let's paste it here. Now let's sign in. So here you can see that we have to enter our old password that is this and we have to create a new password also. So since we have to create new passwords so that is why we have continued with the password that is auto generated by Microsoft. So let's enter some password and click on sign in. So we have to do some like we have to make a strong password. Let's say test user to at the right one to create. Let's try this. Now it should log in. Oh, oh. It's again saying the same thing. So I think let's add one, two, three. Let's try this. Otherwise, we have to choose something, a password which should not include our username in it. So now let's uh, take my channel name at the rate one two three. Now let's take this user and this password, and now let's sign in. Okay, cool. So now it has taken our password and click on skip for now. And you can see here, user is not registered. And here you can see sign in succeeded, but three claims were not issued. So user not succeeded, user not registered. That means user was provided access through the app, but it is not registered in our project. And now let's indent these things again so that we can identify which parameters are coming and which are not. So here you can see we don't find any email address attribute and but we are getting the name and in that name we are getting the test user to this one. 
so as i have already told as i have already told that we in case we are using the sand in as someone else uh, radio button so for that the email address will come in this uh, name attribute so we have to fetch the name attribute and after that we have to perform the verification that i have written in my code and if in case we are signing a in as current user in that case we must be getting the email attribute and we will use that to verify or uh, authenticate the user to our project so now let's continue further and uh, it is user not registered and now let's move on let's close this okay after that let's move on to our default directory and in here let's let's create a new user and let's take it as test user 3 we have to enter the name but we can leave first name last name and we have to copy this password and store it somewhere in our editor let's close this also and let's paste the url and uh, password and user id it is test user 3 so we are renaming it to 3 then So we have to refresh this page in case you are not viewing the user you have created. So you have to refresh it like one to two times. Okay, so you can see here we have created a user that is test user three. But now uh, we will not assign this user to our application, and let's see in that case what happens. So let's move on to Azure Active Directory and Enterprise Applications. Enterprise Applications. And here you can we have to click on Test Sample and uh, then on checking for assigned users. You can see that I have two users assigned to this application, and the test user three is not assigned. now let's click on single sign on and uh, let's test for that user that is test user 3 so sign in as someone else and here we have to again let's copy this user id paste it here copy the password enter it and sign in Okay, so we have to again create new password here. So let's copy the old password which we have created earlier. Let's continue with that password only. So this user is not given permission to our application. So okay, so here you can see that Microsoft has said that the application to block user unless they are authenticated unless they are allowed so this is all we have these three use cases where first use case was the user is given access to our uh, test saml app and that user is present in our database also with that same email id that is why we were able to see success message and after that we have seen the second case in which we have assigned that user here that is in our test saml app but that user is not registered in our database with that email id so that is why it has showed that user not registered and the third case was we have created one user that is test user 3 but we haven't assigned that user to our application that is in test saml application so that is why you have seen that 
Microsoft has given the error. So thank you for watching this video and if you like my videos please hit the like button and click on subscribe. Thank you guys.